What is up you guys, it's James from James Jeff House. In today's video, um, I will be feeding some snakes later on, but first I fear we'll feed the leopard geckos some super worms. Uh, I did heat them up late last night. I had a couple extra crickets, so I fed a couple of them crickets. But for the most part, this is gonna be the first meal that most of them have. Uh, super worms are awesome, they're fatty, they're great for bulking them up. And that's exactly what I wanna do, I wanna bulk them up. Um, there's a couple that I'm not going to specifically offer a bunch to just because I know I'm not going to be breeding them. Um, I really want to bulk up the stuff that's going to be breeding first. And everything else that's not going to be breeding is just going to go to a show. So I'm not going to worry about making sure they're extra fat. I'm going to keep them nice and healthy and see how they do from there. So let's jump into it. Alright, let's start with this guy. My patternless whiteout. African fat tail male. He's not very big. Um, I bought him last year. I was hoping to breed him this year, but he's not super big. He didn't really put on a lot of weight at the end of last season. Um, which is kind of disappointing. He did eat, I think, two or three small crickets earlier, but let's see if he fancies with a uh, super worm. Oh, he definitely fancies it. If he eats a couple of these, it'll definitely put some on him. Yeah. Yep. Superworms are a little big though, and you know, the bigger the insect, the bigger the jaws usually. So it is something to worry about. And it looks like he's got some fresh poop back there, but you can definitely see he is a male. You can definitely see his bulge. Um, let's grab another one and I'll offer it to him. Let's go with this one right here. You want that boy? I just gave him all fresh water too for the, uh, for the new season. Come on. It's your favorite. Well, it's not your favorite. You just had one and you enjoyed it. Well, go on then. You're definitely interested. I don't know why you're not. Yeah? No? All right. Well, I'll try with him again later. Um, just because he's one of the, like main two or three I want to put some definite weight on. Let's go up to this killer right here. You just saw him in a half a split second there. This is my Black Knight Patternless. Now Black Knights don't actually get too terribly big just because it's a uh, lion bred. Uh, just the line stays pretty small as leopard geckos go. Uh, but I just wanted to put on a little bit more weight before I introduce some females. Oh yeah. Look at that guy. This guy is an absolute animal when it comes to eating. Which is why it surprises me that he's so small. Of course, he's not skinny. You can see his tail around the dish there. It's it's good size, um, but he's definitely not the largest gecko. Yeah, he liked that. Awesome piebalding for an eclipse, too. I've seen some Black Knight eclipses that have barely any white at all and a bunch of yellow. And In my opinion, they're just really hideous. This guy is just a nice example of that genetic trait. What's up, guy? What's up, guy? Oh, yeah? 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 Oh, there you go. Nice to get this guy to eat, too. Yeah, of course, they do have those sharp tails, and the... So, while they're killing it, there's still a chance that they'll hurt him a little bit. Not hurt him, but irritate him. Yeah, that guy's definitely happy. I'll have to offer him some more in a day or two. Wait. Put that hide back in, and we'll close this drawer up. I like these drawers. Um, here, I have an MG1 sitting up here, blocking the heat in. Uh, I couldn't tell you what size they are off the top of my head. I think they're like six quarts or something like that. Um, I've seen single geckos housed in bigger and smaller. These, I think, work perfect for males. You have enough room for a water dish. If I wanted to put a food dish, I definitely could. Um, with mine, I usually just like... Uh, mealworms every once a week and then offer some other stuff other times. This is my big male. Here, let me move his hide. I don't plan on fattening him up too much, but I'm just going to offer him one. He is one I'm going to sell. If you guys want to see me at a show, I'll be at the San Francisco show in Daly City, uh, Cow Palace, February 8th and 9th. And I'll definitely be making a video about that show. You know, I make a video every day. Uh, I got to do stuff people like. People like the shows, so that's what I'm going to do. And then last male here, this guy, definitely in shed. You can see I sprayed his box a little bit. Uh, when you spray it, it you know reacts with the heat and 
makes a little bit of extra humidity in there, which helps the reptile shed. He's a great eater too. Yeah. Yeah, he's a big boy. Close that up and we'll move on to some females. These two girls rarely pass up a meal. These are my two tug snow females, lefty and righty. Of course, when I said they rarely pass up a meal, the first thing to do is pass up the meal. Um, let's grab that worm from back there. Oh, this is an awkward angle. Ugh. Here we go. Here we go. Does someone see this worm? Anyone see this worm here? Anyone want this worm? You want this worm here? No? Cool. Make me look bad on camera. Alright. Let's pull out the next one. These are my fat tails. I don't know if they're into super worms. This little girl right here. Maybe. She definitely looks hungry. Yeah, she's a weird one. I gotta get some new breeding stock females. Um, buy some female babies and raise them up for next year. Fat tails are kind of hard. That you want to do them preferably two years in advance, just to get them up to size. That girl you just saw, I pulled her out from under the paper towel. That's her favorite thing to do. I don't know if she's gonna take a super run though. She's a little small. Maybe this girl wants a second one. You want a second one? You want a second one? That'd be cool if you took a second one. Yeah? Oh, she's definitely interested. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Yeah. Killer. Let's go down. This girl. Um, I had to... When I had crickets out earlier, I definitely wanted to feed this girl. This is my really skinny girl. Um, and sometimes that just happens. I know a lot of people wouldn't show that. They would just skip over, tell you the tub's empty, and quote-unquote do something with the animal. Uh, but I had to force feed her a cricket earlier, and if she doesn't take the sewer worm, I will probably end up force feeding her a super worm. And when I say force feeding, I mean more of like a cis feeding. I'm going to hold her and make sure it gets in her mouth. And then once it's in her mouth, she'll actually eat it. And it looks like that's what's going to happen. Um, she's just a picky eater, and I can't really find anything that she likes, unfortunately. This girl is a great eater, though. So let's see what's up. Oh, shoot. What's up, dog? What's up? What's up, dog? Are you even in there? Alright, you're in there. What, you're not hungry? Hey. Hey. You hungry, dog? No? Wow, okay. Man, those two girls are not the best eaters, I guess. Okay, why don't you move over? Put her hide right by the heat. Help her out a little bit. All right, last up, these guys I know We'll eat this last super worm, and if, if they do, I can grab another one for the rest. Someone grab the super worm. I don't know where they are. These guys also like to hide under the paper towels. Right, there's one. There's another one. And then there's the third one. So let's see who wants it. You want it? Either you guys want it? There's a worm. It's a real nice... Uh, Juicy fat boy. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Male's interested. Male's interested. Go for it, dude. Kill him. Kill him. Um, I'll probably pick up some mealworms tomorrow at work along with uh, some more food dishes because I ran out I ran out uh, over the winter. So I'll pick some more of those up and get some mealworm dishes and all of these so I can start feeding them all mealworms and I'll start buying some more mealworms and Everybody will be all fat and happy. Let's move on to some snakes, shall we? All right, first on the list is my girlfriend Sherry's snake. It's a little corn snake, a little ice tessera corn snake. I don't know what that means. The snake's purple. She liked it. We got it. And it looks like it might just be hungry. It didn't eat last week. 
so it's definitely gonna eat this week. That's how corn snakes work. And you give him a little tug just to uh, entice him not to let go to grab harder. And it definitely worked. Oop, slowly but surely it's dragging it in. Well, since no one else wants to eat and this guy seems hungry, let's offer him a second one. Usually if there's a pinky left over, I offer it to my blue beauty. But I just figured I'd give it to this guy. Put some growth on him. I enjoy feeding corn snakes because they always eat. I can't wait for mine to get nice and big. Uh, whenever there's an adult mouse left over, my king snake won't eat. I'll know I can feed it to a corn snake. Come on, dude. You want it? Come on. Come on, dude. You. You want it? I. You. There you go. There you go, buddy. It's almost time to start moving them up, but I have so many pinkies, and all these are the only things that'll eat it. This and the blue, blue beauty, and the blue beauty is even starting to kind of nod away from them, just because they're so small for them. They're good size for this guy, but not for much longer. Corn snakes are such great eaters. I, if I moved the tub with any other snake, it would have spit it up, but this guy's just still going. Has not even set it on anything. He's just eating it midair. Here, watch, I'll even take this away and he won't move. Okay, he moved, I lied, but he's still eating. Zoom in a little bit. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Lots of stuff to eat, and that's kind of expected in my reptile room right now as far as snakes go. All my good eaters are down in brumation and all my sucky eaters are still here. Um, so anyway, I gotta feed my crested geckos, check for eggs, do all that good stuff. I got a bunch of other stuff I really need to do. Um, I'm gonna put notes on stuff that's still eating to make sure I come back and check it in the morning. But nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm James from James Jump Tiles. Make sure to stick around, I post a video every day. Uh, seven days a week. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that really helps out the channel. Hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, James Sheptiles on gmail.com if you have any questions and enjoy. What is it, a Monday? Enjoy your Monday. <laughs>